I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to all that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she going, she reflect you. She walk around and knock me down just to kiss you. Don't let these hoes turn you to friend. I understand, bro. I understand. But it's just, it's not even, I'm, I'm going to get back. But I'm saying in that. In How many times you think these people going to let you say, I'm going to get back? You know, you know why I'm mad? I'm going to keep it 100 with you, bro. Because it don't only affect, like, to you, bro. It's niggas at me. I gotta be arguing my core fans for your fucking fuck ups, nigga. I'm blocking fans because they talking about you, bitch. I'm losing merchandise money. I'm losing all type of shit because I'm blocking niggas for talking about you, nigga. But they fuck, be, nigga, but, like, they be talk, like, but look though, <laughs> what I said, bro. Dead ass, but look, bro. They, but look though, they go beyond battle rap, like in this field, he like his water chilled and distilled. In this still, with this still, salute to the subscribers that notification gang. You already know what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got a couple things I want to get into in this one right here. I could have made two, three separate blogs, but why? You know what I'm saying? Before you stick a fork in me, take this walk with me. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Give me a second. I want to. I want to get the feel first. So um, you got K Shine, you got Verb. You got New Jersey twerk, obviously. He just had his battle with Swamp. We already know how that went. Um, but, you know, K-Shine, NWX leadership, sat him down. He had to sit down with him. And I guess they was talking about a lot of things um, on the caffeine. I didn't actually see it, but um, I got this clip that's been circulating of K-Shine basically, you know, chastising twerk for, you know, not being prepared as usual. I mean, this is not even anything new now. You know what I mean? Um, it is what it is. He wasn't prepared versus Swamp. Swamp got what they call a free win. I don't call it that because I feel like he should be praised and, you know, given his given his status for his win. So, basically what um, Shine was saying is that niggas should look at, they looking at you like a free bag because you a big name. But you're going to show up unprepared. People are going to get a win. Their stock is going to go up. And they compared him to Verb. Said if the new niggas want to get a win and want to get their name up, they should go after Verb. Now... While I don't know where this sentiment or thought process came from because Verb battled Lux and beat Mook both last year, so I don't even know if you can even compare the two, like what Verb did last year and what he's got going on as far as God tier level work. He's not a vet. There's a lot of MCs who are young, young rookie and young starter guy punching bags. I could be here all day naming them. There's a bunch of them. Um, but Verb ain't won, and um, Verb was not, he wasn't feeling that. He definitely got the talking bag of shine, and you know, he was popping off very slick. You know what I'm saying? He had a, a couple of choice words for him. So, what I will say is, uh, it's been a lot of, it's been like a line in the sand. You got a bunch of people who feel one way about New Jersey twerk. You got another people who still, you know, sympathize with what I'm saying, you know, until we've been in those positions, which a lot of us are never going to be in, battle rapping, we can't talk and things like that. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about because y'all are just talking about this shit. Y'all don't have to prepare. He don't prepare either, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? And I think it's, uh, it's one of those things where if he's prepared, and it's crazy that you should, that we're even speaking like this, but if he took the time to prepare and have three rounds, he would be one of the best. He would easily be one of the best. And I know there's people out there that's like, oh, y'all just want to be negative and y'all just hate. And it's like, look, you doing your job, as far as any battle rapper, you know what I'm saying? Any battle rapper. Battle rapper doing their job should be the bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? It's gotten so bad that it's to a point where People feel like if he gets through a round, he automatically won the round. What the f- What? That is how crazy it's gotten. He got through the round, so he won. Automatically. They don't even do the debate, the bar breakdown, the in the third, this haymaker was better than that with Showtime SP. Get your man. They don't none of that. It's just he got through the round, so he won. That's fucking crazy. 
I, not here. That, that don't happen over here. It never, it will never happen over here. Which is the reason why we do bar breakdowns, talk about bars, talk about haymakers, talk about punches. Because I feel like all of that still matters in the context of a battle. We do have Chilla Jones versus Geechee coming up tomorrow because, I mean today, well it'll be later on. But um, because, you know, Showtime got things he got going on, I got things I got going on. We got families, things like that. So that's coming, you know what I'm saying? The battle dropped two days ago, gives us some more time to marinate. But um, it gets to a point where now people feel like if he gets through a round, he won. Are you fucking kidding me? No way. But um, so Ferb, he took to the offensive. And like I said, I've always felt like New Jersey Twerk is a talent, you know what I'm saying? But here's the clip of Shine and, um, and him sitting down with Twerk and, and talking about Ferb. You a big name. A big bag and maybe a possible win because you ain't gonna be prepared. They go up and stop. <laughs> Niggas just get wins off. Yeah, <laughs> you looking like Verb, bro. <laughs> you looking like Verb. <laughs> Y'all niggas know what I say about Verb, bro. If any new nigga under underclassmen wanna get your shit up, get your bag out, and get a win, <laughs> go for the verb. <laughs> So, you know, he, he basically said that you're becoming a free win. Niggas is getting free wins off of you. You're a big name with a big stock. If people beat you, they're going to get a bigger battle. And he and, 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 and it's to a point where that's kind of true. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you battle him, out of the three names that people was mentioning him battle, first of all, if you're not subscribed to this channel, let's just, let's just, let's take care of that first. Subscribe to the channel. They were saying that out of the three names, whether it was Twerk, so um, T Top and Tay Rock, they were saying Twerk would be the easiest one because you already knew that he one of his rounds he was not going to be prepared. He jerseyed out of two of the rounds, but he they already knew one of them he was not going to be prepared. So as long as you write three rounds, you're probably going to win. Shouldn't be like that, especially with a talent as good as he is. He like he's a very talented MC. I would never take that away from him. People have hit me up like, "Oh, you hating?" I'm like, "How is me having high expectations for somebody that's talented?" You know what I'm saying? How is that hating? How is me wanting you to use new material and not use the same raps in different battles hating? I don't understand. I, I never got that. But anyway, so Verb takes to the offensive. You know, once he once he hears about this, you know, they they hitting him up. You know, Tori, you taking shots at Verb is corny. You one of my favorites, but you come on, that's for no reason. And then Verb responded. I don't get mad, look who he's sitting next to, negative brings negative, saying, you know, negative brings negative, you know what I mean? And then there was more, he said, I understand Shine's anger, he beat me in 2015, he not looked at how I am, and I have more of everything. He went on to continue to talk, Verb is now in his bag. So Hitman can smoke Shine in his house, and y'all don't even bring it up. Shine beat Verb with booing, and it's forever, y'all sick, saying, you know, Fuck around and walk through him. You know, we remember that. Um, when he beat, when when Shine beat Verb, they, they try to stick that loss on Verb forever. But when Hitman beat Shine on um, Summer Madness 6, they kind of see, he, he, Verb is saying that people let it slide. So uh, he definitely acted him. He acted, he acted Shine and said, AK Shine, looking like Verb is a good thing. I have more money than 90% of battle rappers. I'm a god tier, two cribs, three cars, fly shit, my own chain, not fake like yours, and a tranny never said I tried to drop mm and um. You can read that, I'm not. Uh, get like me, you know what I'm saying? He, he said he said he, 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 he's, he's shooting shots. He's shooting shots back at um, K-Shine for his taking up for Twerk. Now, I will say, Twerk has a fucking... New England Patriots offensive line, like he's got everybody, everybody that's holding him down in this situation. Um, and like I said, I know people say, um, you know, you guys just want to bring up the negative. I'm like, look, if you prepare and bring three full rounds, that's a good thing, you know, and it's going to do what it do. But if you don't prepare and you get smoked, People are gonna watch that more than they're gonna watch if he came with three full rounds and did his thing and, and the battle was great or he even won. People will watch the recap, you know, they're gonna watch it. But I guarantee you more people will watch the recap because of what happened. Like that that's what the artists don't understand. Like my recaps, they do pretty good numbers, but the recap of him and Swamp is almost at 70,000 views because 
of the negative that came with not being prepared. I promise you, if you do your job, people will watch it still. You know, it's a blessing that people will still watch the content, do the views, but niggas is not going to be gravitating towards it when they know that something happened negative in it. Um, Shine's doing what he's supposed to do as far as uh, NWX representation, as far as leadership, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, this is what we thought when he joined the crew. He was like, yo, when you joined the crew, maybe they could, you know, make sure that the shit is together, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we thought. But when he joined the it, it kind of went the same way as shit has been for the last couple of years. And it's gotten to a point now where a lot of people are talking about should MCs lose their back end for not showing up with their battles. Some agree, some are saying hell no, some are saying they should be rebooked for a lower price. I don't think that's going to work because if somebody's used to getting $10 for a battle, let's just say 10 we just, we're not, we're not, let's, let's, fuck it, let's say, let's say somebody's getting 10000 fuck it, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to talk too long. And if I get 10000 but I show up with two rounds, and now you're like, oh, next battle, we got to book you for 8000 because you're choking. Nigga be like, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? So there's really no penalty. A nigga be like, I'm not doing it. This league over here wants to give me the 10000 I'm used to getting. And just go over there and do it over there. So that's not really a way to uh, hold people accountable. Holding them accountable is in the situation that it's in. You can't say you choked on summer madness, so uh, the next car, we're going to book you for less. Like That could potentially be something. But you have to keep it um, consistent with what's going on at the time. Uh, so, next, Don Marino. Uh, if you haven't heard, Don Marino has contracted um, coronavirus. Uh, and he, you know, put out a statement basically, you know, saying that he had coronavirus, um, asking for prayers. Um, I did reach back to him, let him know, you know, um, he's in my prayers if he needs anything. He know my number. I've spoken to him before. And, um, you know, what I will say is this. Coronavirus is still legit. Like, a lot of battle rappers are going back outside, booking battles. People are trying to, like, get on flights and be in these large crowds. And it's like, mm-mm, no, 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 it's, that's not it. That's not it. Now, we're not saying, I'm not going to ever attribute the fact that he was around different people to the reason why he got it. But just being outside and being susceptible to what contracts coronavirus, it could be a reason why. So what I will say is that a lot of you battle rappers out there, you need to be careful. You go into these, you take people from every city, every state, you put them all in one area. They congregate, they smoke weed, they talk shit, they drink liquor, they share bottles, they do all of this shit, then they all go back their separate ways. That is how coronavirus is spread. Like, it's recommended that people stay home. And just because the weather's getting nice and people are outside does not fucking mean that it's time to go back outside and start celebrating like we've accomplished something. People are still... It's, I think that people are less afraid of corona because the shit's not as much in the news anymore. It's not as relevant as it used to, as it used to be. Hold on, I ought to take a water break. talking 10 minutes motherfucker god damn so um i don't think it's as prevalent as it used to be so that's the reason why people are willing to go back outside don marino is a talent but uh you can't be out here risking your life you know what i'm saying like i would highly suggest that we've seen you a lot during covid we've seen you a lot uh we've seen you in uh ultimate madness we've seen you in the one-off Chill the fuck out until this shit is, this too will pass. Chill. You're in our prayers. Hopefully everything uh, goes well for you. Um, Jack Boy Maine. Oh shit. Jack Boy Maine. Mr. Freaky Freaky Mississippi. Black Wealth Chain, all that. Jack Boy Maine, remember former Goonie, is back talking again. He went live. I actually missed the live, but you know, a clip came my way. A clip of him saying that he's coming for everything that he's owed. He's coming for his, what the pop? He's coming for his ficky ficky. He's coming for his headshot, his bow, his everything. He wants it all back. He even called out Twerk. He called out Luke Cash. He called out Ru Bando. Every fucking body. I will tell you this. Um, in the state of battle rap and all the shit that's going on and you know what I'm saying, I say bring Jack Boyd back. Fuck it. You might as well. You Bands? Gnome is Bane?
Yeah, that DJ scratch that everybody doing, that's my, exactly. Oh, listen, these niggas is bowing, these niggas is shaking, these niggas is clapping, these niggas is doing sound effects, they ficky ficky, lift the pop, dip it up, dip it up, dip it up. All that shit, man, that shit mines. That shit mines. Whoa, what it do, Grant? That shit mines. So tell your drugs, tell your twerks, tell your Castros, tell your Rubandos, tell your goddamn Fonzes, tell your Jada Nightwings, tell your uh, whoever the fuck. I'm coming for all my shit back. I want all my shit back. On everything, I want all my shit back. You niggas got me fucked up. You have me fucked up. You thought I was gone. I knew I could have beat y'all. Don't worry about it, though. We're going to get into all that. What I'm trying to get you niggas to understand, it could be any. Man, listen, I ain't even going to. Listen. This is what I know. These niggas that's on Gnome and still ain't the kind of Gnome that I've been on. So that shit ain't. Uh -uh. And I still think that battle going to be whack. I would say bring him back. Because he ain't doing nothing no, no different than nobody else did or doing. Choking, okay, he jumped in the crowd. That was a little different. I ain't gonna hold you. But choking and stumbling in battles is fucking part. They do the same shit. What's wrong with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, bring I would bring him back. He should have been in the um that tournament shit with B Magic and the Ultimate Master. They should have put Jack Boy in that motherfucker too. Might as well. He ain't got no crowd. He'll perform better with no crowd. He ain't got no crowd. He ain't got none of that shit. Jack Boy, man, I, 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 I say fuck it. I say bring him back. Shit, you got Tink the Demon in that motherfucker? Should have been Jack Boy, man, versus Tink the Demon. First, I like still like franchise too, but shit, for entertainment purposes and for promotional purposes, shit, bring Jack Boy back. Fuck it, you might as well. He said he's coming for his shit. Put him against Rubando or Lou Cat. Put him against one of them niggas first. See how that shit go. I mean, might as well. Uh, you, he's entertaining. That's one thing I will say. He's entertaining. He's not. He's very entertaining. You know, he choked in a couple battles. So what? I thought this is what we embrace. We embrace choking nowadays. When did choking become an issue? Nowadays, niggas choking get him bigger battles. You might see this motherfucker versus Loaded Lux next after the choke. But um, what I will say is uh, overall, um, when it comes to like a Jack Boy and choking and being prepared and shit like that. I will say this, and he did that for his franchise, like the, the, the fucking choking and shit. Uh, MCs will normally say, but I knew my material, I knew my material after the battle's over. If I go take a chemistry final in college, you know what I'm saying? I'm in college, I'm taking chemistry or physics, and I go into class and I'm taking my final and I forget all the work, everything, I forget everything that I studied and bomb the exam. Can I get out and tell the teacher after the exam is over, but I had the work, I knew it right here. See, I knew everything, I had it all. They don't give a fuck. The moment that it's supposed to be happening is all that matters. That is the only thing that matters. So overall, you got the, you know, Shine and Verb going back and forth, y'all niggas tell me what y'all think about that. And Shine also said that um, about Daylight, he was saying if you if you get past Rock, I'll be, I'll be I'm right here waiting. And Daylight replied and said, hey, look, I'm with all of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm with all of that. That's actually a battle that I would like to see too. So you got Shining Daylight, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Shining Daylight, Shining um, Verb, Get Better, Don Marino, and Jack Boy Maine. He said he wants all his shit. His Ficky Ficky, his With the Pot, his, his, his everything. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is getting interesting. Um, salute to every single one of y'all out there. I hope that y'all are doing great in y'all lives. Um, I'll be back. In the lab with my guy Showtime SP tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's turning up, yo. A lot of shit is turning up. You got Gnome coming up. You got a lot of other battles going on. And, uh, you know, y'all be safe, though. That outside shit is spooky. Don't be rushing back outside. I tell y'all every single time. Don't let being outside put you inside. What that means. Don't let rushing outside put you inside a damn graveyard or inside a hospital. Anything that's going on, if it ain't about no money, and even if it's about money, that shit could wait because your life is way, way, way more important than a quick lick. Than some money, than some bitches, than some anything. The turn up is gonna be around long after we're not here anymore. The 
turn up will be around. Um, salute to everybody out there. Hope y'all doing good. Um, I'm gone. Rah! Should've been a hatin' nigga cause I've been